guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kyla. So today I'm back with another Baby Monster reaction video. So today I'm gonna react to their like pre-single click clack. So I'm really really excited. So let's go. Let's go. But before we go on, I gotta say I'm a bit sick. That's why I can't speak very loud or maybe can't form very long sentences. So I'm really sorry about that. And let's go. Black and white. Rapper Rami, okay. Until the very end, it was pretty much very rap focused, very hip hop. And at the very end, it started giving out this disco vibe, and that vibe increased a lot at the very, very end. It's coming. Here's the drop, you know. And then it just increases very suddenly. Here, you can. become like a techno song, it become like a viral club song. Here we go, Slay. They started out with a very savage, like this vibe and the black and white even added more hip hop to it. And this whole part, spending money charge charge charge, this whole part we're gonna listen to it again is really catchy and makes you wanna sing along so much. That line, I wish I could relate to it. And even with the hairstyles, it looks so different from the other comebacks. It feels more relaxed and in a way it feels like, like more baby monster. Because it's so different from the previous comebacks, this whole 
comeback is going to be very different, I believe. And it's definitely going to be very, very creative. But let's go back to Click Clack. I think with Click Clack, everyone had a chance to show their rapper side. And everyone rapped really good too. And everyone rapped really good too. I mean, Baby Monster is a group with like full of good vocalists and rappers and dancers. So I'm not surprised that they did so well. It was just really surprising that this song is like only focused on the rap, only focused on that sassiness, that savageness, that baddie confidence. But it suits them so much. And the upcoming part, the upcoming Rooka part is also very catchy. It stays in your mind. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That was so cool. That was really, really cool. And I think this is one of the parts that's going to go absolutely viral. The transition though. Large, large. This is so addictive. The way they act in the music video shows how confident they are and how good they are with facial expressions. Where she says walking like a boss and she's like actually walking like a boss You believe in that, you know, you believe in what she's saying And that's what makes this song so powerful, I think And this might be a bit random right now, but this kind of hairstyle really suits Frota a lot It's kind of like a everyday ponytail kind of vibe, but it really suits her a lot And with Rami, we're usually focused on our vocals but now that we get to see a rapper side of her, it's really interesting. This song is like her showcasing her other abilities. She's definitely full of that rapper swag. So let's re-watch her part. Yeah. She could definitely have a lead or main rapper position too. These girls are really really talented. At this part the lyrics are portrayed to like accessories and I think that's really cool. Yeah. Asa's really cool there. I mean personally I think Asa really has a cool personality. Like even if she's not doing anything, even if she's not the one rapping at the moment, She's like eye-catching because she's really good with facial expressions. Amazing, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was the line that I tried to stop at. Okay, okay, she like silenced those haters, okay? Wow, I love these lines that give Gen Z vibes. When it's done at a like correct amount, it makes the song so much cooler. It makes the song so catchy and makes you go wow, you know? I love it so much. Not a dentist, but I'm flossing sis slave. And I also love that they mentioned their own names. I love when groups do this because I think it really adds a character, adds an identity to the song because normally like when you listen to a song, you can relate to it even if you didn't take any participation of producing that song but when you add your name it's like it's even more you and that's amazing everyone looks so cool everyone wow yeah and now the dance party has started you know <laughs> yeah i want to come back to the beginning where chiquita and rora introduces the song starts the song I think they started the song in a very cool way. Chiquita really does have a great facial expression. And Rora really does also have a rapper style. I think both sound-wise and style outfit vibe, she really suits hip-hop vibe a lot. And of course, Ion, she slayed it so freaking much. Ion is like a dual threat, both an amazing vocalist and a killer rapper. And I'm so glad that she has a rap part in this song as well. She's amazing. And she also has a very, like, not thick, but a very unique, distinguished accent. And that's why 
she makes the song interesting too she makes the part she sings interesting or oh, like the part she raps overall i feel like this is such such an amazing pre-release song because it's so baby monster it screams baby monster and yet it's so different and unique and like a new concept to them and it's a black and white music video and that is like a hundred percent a smart like correct choice but i'm also curious about the colored version <laughs> black and white music videos are not something that we see daily and that makes even this song and come back more interesting unfortunately right now i have to go but please let's chat in the comment section and let's chat about the album as well i love you guys so so much please stay safe please stay healthy bye